Let, 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 let's listen to what uh, William Bruto said while on tour of Gatundo, and he has been speaking about um, the president and the former Prime Minister Raila Odinga. Listen first. Ata kama ameamua kwenda kusaidia mutu ya kitendawili na muomba kwa unyenyekevu asitumie ile kisu nilisaidia yeye kupata kunikata miguu. Mwambie tafadhali. Mwambie uyo ruto unampangia ni yule muliombewa na yeye hapa gatondo na hata hiyo maombi mamangina alituombea. Mumukumbushe ni huyo ruto muliombewa na yeye hapa tafadhali usimuumize. Siku ile tulikuwa tunaangaishwa na watu wa hek. Nani alikuja hapa kuomba na uhuru Kenyatta? Kitendawili alikuja hapa kuomba na uhuru Kenyatta? Muambie vile vile ni ule ruto ambaye wakati hakuna mtu alikuwa hako tayari kusaidia wewe ni huyo ruto alisimama na yeye tafadhali usimuumize mumwambie nimemuuliza hata kama hataki kunisaidia aniwachie hii mzee ya kitendawili mimi niko tayari kubambana na yeye yeye asimame kando all right, that is uh, William Ruto, and he repeated those sentiments while in Muranga yesterday. He had also said close to the same words while in Akuru County. And this is coming just after um, that UDA NDC, which was on Tuesday. And Robert Mbui, I want to begin with you, because you've been monitoring what's going on in the politics of this country, not just on your political side, but also across board. What do you see? Is Are you seeing change in the messaging on the side of the deputy president? How do you assess what's, what's, what he's, he's been talking about? Yeah, I, I see uh, a deputy president that has decided to take on his boss now, openly. <clears throat> Previously, he did it through his uh, foot soldiers, but now he's uh, made a decision to go straight for the president. And it's unfortunate, uh, Sam, because I listen to the language of the deputy president mm. when he calls the former prime minister, Mze Wakitendawili. And I ask myself, because, you know, we don't censor this news. Uh, at 7 o'clock in the evening, the children will still be watching telly with their parents. And that is a, a deputy president of a nation speaking to a statesman in the name of Raila Amolo Odinga and referring to him as Muse wa Kitendawili. And I'm asking myself, really, what kind of, what kind of uh, country are we creating? What future is in, is in this country for our children if that kind of language and disrespect can be portrayed continuously by our leaders. I think we need to move from these kind of discussions. We need to, 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 be, to be careful. If he wants um, the president, and I said this the last time I was here, if he wants to tell the president something, I'm, I'm certain there are very many ways. He can make a phone call, he can write an email, he can send an SMS. Why does he have to go to Gatundu and tell the people of Gatundu, you know, send them to the president? I think it's, it's disrespectful. It's, a, it's very unfortunate. But I'll tell the people of uh, central Kenya. I've listened to my friend Isaac Maura and what he has said here. When he talked about Kenya Kwanzaa, he was very clear about the parties that matter in Kenya Kwanzaa. He started with UDA, then he quickly talked about ANC and talked about Fort Kenya. And I'm wondering, where is the service party of Mwangi Kiunjuri? Where is this Chama Chakazi of, uh, of, uh, of um, my friend Moses Kuria? Where is the uh, Tujibebe party of uh, former Governor Kafogo? I mean, no one refers to those parties. They are not, it's like they're not important. I, I think uh, for, for the sake of the people of the mountain, this Kenya Kwanzaa needs to be expanded enough to, to also allow space for those other parties and let them also be referred to whenever we are talking about this coalition, not just two parties. You know, let's be fair uh, to, to, to Mount Kenya. And please, let's stop disrespecting but, the but, but why would you be advising them? They are your opponents. What do you want I, to help? I think, I think I'm, I'm, a very fair, I'm a very fair competitor. You know, <laughs> if we are boxing and I've knocked you down, I will not beat you when you're on the ground. I'll wait for you to get up. I think they, they've gone below the belt, and it's fair that we give them opportunity. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> very, very interesting, as you said there. I want us to listen to what the president said because um, I, th I think it was either on Friday or Saturday he was in Korogocho area and he said a few things while there. We shortly be listening to that. But um, yeah, Senator Isaac Mora, uh, what is the deputy president trying to say here? Because I look at what he said at the UDA NDC. He was very, is it fired up? 
and when he was making his statement, trying to identify and point at what is wrong within the country, the state capture he spoke about, um, the cartels that he's going to fight on day one when he wins power. Then he goes to the president, president's uh, home and he tells them, he sends them to the president. What is this or what is he trying to do? I think uh, first and foremost, on a light touch, the, the man in Berlin um, seems to have lost uh, the track of time because if he, he says his principles met, they should have met at one one thirty nine of around the time he was talking yeah? <laughs> am, and uh, honestly fred okango uh, you know I, I if i look at you you are the making of a secretary general uh, i don't know whether you, you which part you belong to the last time you were in, He's in uh, kano oh you're in kano oh, okay oh, well i didn't I, I don't i didn't remember that because we debate with this uh, fellow young man uh, very well mm -hmm. uh, but then the only person who should have been uh, up and running that time is jimmy wanjiki preparing for his uh, ndc anyway that's on a light touch now one <laughs> kenya, one, one kenya alliance really it seems to speak from both ends of their mouth. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't have a coherent policy. We know for sure uh, Senator Gideon Moy is supporting Raila Odinga uh, and maybe Jirongo and others. I mean, uh, the leader of uh, Farmers Party, Rongo Nyakera, says they don't have a presidential candidate. Uh, of course, Davis Umau uh, Cheng uh, is going back to ODM through the back door. Uh, and now, Mother Karua must survive. And she needs to listen to the ground in Kirinyaga and ask herself if really her ambition, and I've had this conversation with her personally, so I'm not just speaking here on TV. If she really wants to be the governor of Kirinyaga, then where are, he, where, where are her people so that then she follows through? But she's an honest lady and they have a lot of credit and, and a lot of admiration for her as a young tax, the six young tax of the second liberation. But then coming to your conversation, I think the whole issue is uh, the question that was asked, in whose hands are we safe? Mm -hmm. So, uh, but it, it boils down to individuals. So President Uhuru Kenyatta wants to secure his legacy. And William Ruto is telling him, I am the one to protect your legacy because I have stood with you. I stood with you during very difficult moments uh, at the ICC. I stood with you when the elections were nullified. I stood with you in 2002 and everybody abandoned you when you were named as a, as, as a presidential candidate of Kano. All of these people who are now all, all of a sudden pretending that they are the ones who have the best interest of you is just that because they want to access uh, to the systems and structures of government, what we call the deep state, so they are, are can access to power. But you cannot predict whether they will keep to that promise. And I think we have very good evidence. Mm. Uh, with the, 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 the reason I'm asking with, you this question. Let, let, let me make this statement, uh, uh, Sam. Yes, Senator. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, with Kalonzo Mosioka also doubting, you know, you know, even uh, you know, Azimio and saying even they were never paid their dues. That's quite a serious allegation. But, but fa Sen Senator, let, let's restrict ourselves to the question that I've asked you because mm. last week on Sunday, Deputy President William Ruto, and I mean last week, not yesterday, mm. the other week, Deputy President William Ruto was in Thika and he told the President, Umetutesa, under your leadership, we've really suffered, but we forgive you because you're God-fearing people. That's what mm. he said. Mm. Uh, on Saturday, I believe it was on Saturday, he goes to Gatundo and says, please tell your neighbor here that I'm still the same person who saved him when there was no one coming to his aid. Mm. What is that contrast within just seven no, days? No, no, it's not a contrast. It's actually, it's actually there's a lot of consistency, uh, Sam, because on one hand, we are saying what we have gone through. You know even personally. I was in Thika and I made this, a similar statement as, as well, so mm. that I spoke much earlier. I mean, what I've, I've gone through, I mean, being out, I mean, in court for 10 months, I had seven court cases, I appeared in court over 30 times, Sam, DCI was sent to me, drones to my house, a gang of 10 people to finish me, travel ban. That is Isaac <laughs> Moora. That is Isaac Moora. Mm -hmm. The Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya has been treated with a lot of disdain. And you remember I've said this, and I want to repeat, that we who formed government, who helped form government, doing 400 meetings across the country, myself, Isaac Moora, we are effectively the government in opposition. And those who did not form government, they are you know, ODM, they are the opposition in government. So that trading of places. So Deputy President on one hand is saying, we suffer, you have made us go through hell just because of self-perpetuation, self-reinvention. And here, I am the one who stood with you all along. This is the same, same message. The, the one person, mm -hmm. the kingmaker, you know, the one who stood with you, is the one who is being annihilated and punished. And they say, usitumia ile kiswa ambao nilikusaidia kupata kunimaliza. You get the point, eh? Mm -hmm. It's very, very consistent. So if William Ruto were to be judged on being loyal, or being, standing for, for, for someone, with someone when they need them, for sure he gets an A+. Plus. Okay. But now when it comes to the issue of now saying, mm -hmm. uh, we want to protect a certain enclave at the top, that this is a club of a few, you must not, uh, because you are, a, you, you are you, you, of your pedigree, William, you cannot. So if it, it is not me, then it should go to Raila. 
You get the point? Okay. Let that is the conversation we are having, and that's why I'm even on I this hear table, you. Uh, about equal opportunity for all, that anyone can rise from obscurity to become the President of the Republic of Kenya. Let's that is a debate that Let's listen to what the President said while in Korogocho about this. <laughs> Mutashikilia baba na azimio mkono. Nione tena kwa mikono nione 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 nione. Tutakubali kutishwa. Tunakubali ya kwamba haki ndiyo itasimama. Tunakubali ya kwamba kazi ndiyo itaendelea. Tunakubaliana ya kwamba umoja na amani ndiyo itadumu. Mimi nasema hapo ndipo niko katikati katikati katikati. Well, Honorable Jared Okello, so listening to this, of course, uh, your party leader has been out of the country. I understand that they came back yesterday. But also, what, it, it would appear that um, Uhuru Kenyatta has been quite instrumental in the campaign of Azimio Lomoja. And therefore, does that give credence to the allegations or the claims by Deputy President and the part of Kenya Kwanza that he's sort of interfering with the campaign and that the, he should leave Raila Odinga and William Ruto to face each other? Well, I, I thank you very much again, Sam. Uh, nothing stops President Uhuru Kenyatta from campaigning uh, the Constitution in Article 38 on uh, political rights uh, gives him the mandate to do so. And what he's doing, if he so chooses to be on the campaign trail, nothing stops uh, him. Uh, but I want us to step back a bit, uh, Sam, before I make a lot of clarification on the same. Uh -huh. You know, it is very interesting that when the deputy president is at Uhuru Kenyatta's backyard, then he changes tune. When he's away from Uhuru Kenyatta's region, he throws epithets at the president and, you know, with unprintable words certain times. And we all understand, some that uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta is the best person to describe who deputy president is. Right from 1997, I think, when Uhuru Kenyatta was um, nominated uh, through Kanu into parliament, they have always sat together with the deputy president. The 2002 election, we know how they were very close, uh, conceding defeat together. And thereafter, these have been buddies ever since. We all know about the bromance that they shared uh, in 2013, 2017, mm -hmm. how they even donned similar pants and similar ties, you know, uh, akin to what President Obama's, uh, you know, dressing looked like then. So these are people who know each other. And for the president to come out to say that I know this guy and he will be the wrong one to give to the welfare of the country as president of Kenya, we must listen. I mean, I don't know William Ruto that much. My friend Mora doesn't know Ruto that much. President Uhuru Kenyatta knows him better than any one of us, apart from probably his wife, uh, Rachel. So we cannot therefore say that the president is on a campaign trail to diminish uh, the, uh, the, the, the political uh, you know, advancements of his deputy uh, to the detriment of the welfare of the country. No, it is the opposite. When we put our votes to a person whom the president supports, and president sits in a vantage position mm -hmm. to know what is best for the country, that is what we must follow. And, you know, the, the, the deputy president while in Mount Kenya is imploring upon the president to stop attacks on him. Now, are these things that the president knows about him that he fears will be revealed? These are questions we must ask ourselves. Uh, I know deputy president is still benefiting from intelligence reports and all that. What are the intelligence pollings, uh, you know, polls as far as presidency is concerned or the next polls is concerned showing? Uh, he, he's so much afraid going forward that there are certain things that I believe he knows uh, that we are not J aware J of. J Jared, Jared just to be sure, you say that um, the deputy president is receiving intelligence on polls? 
Well, you know that we have the NIS uh, that carries out uh, certain, uh, you know, polling that uh, is never shared with the public. But I want to believe, I mean, he, he is still the deputy president. He has access. He knows he's losing. And that is why he is now <laughs> repeating. <laughs> you think and he is getting so this intelligence or you know he's getting it? Well, I know he's getting it. He sits in the Security Council. I mean, that is where all these are discussed. So you cannot say that there are certain information that the president knows uh, as pertains our security uh, that the deputy president does not. And I have never had him resign as deputy president or resign from participating. The, the reason I'm asking you that, of course, mm -hmm. in the law, the deputy president is a member of the National Security Council, but he has been on record of being pushed out. So I don't know how practical what you're saying is at the moment, but unfortunately he's not here. Let me listen to Fred for a moment, because Fred, looking at the campaign trail, you're seeing Azimio, now I get confused, Laumojo or Azimio? One oh, Kenya. Okay, Azimio, one Kenya alliance. Absolutely. But the, yes, but the people that we see doing the campaigns is Jubilee and ODM together, like they've been in Nairobi for I think five days. We saw Kalonzo Musioka and Gideon Moy going to, was it Tarakanithi? But Tarakanithi? We haven't, yes, we haven't heard of them so much. So what are you waiting for so that you can now start doing campaigns together and moving forward as one house? Uh, thank you, Sam. We, 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 are, we are very structured. And because we are coming towards the end of uh, the conclusions of these uh, discussions and arguments, we do hope that once everything is finalized, and as uh, our principal, Kalonzo Musioka, uh, did say that probably once uh, uh, our partners are back and uh, everyone is briefed on the truth about the coalition and the signed agreement, then we shall move forward. But you know also, while uh, Raila was away, you saw meetings uh, between the president and uh, uh, Gideon Moy, and, uh, who is my national chairman, and our principal, Kalonzo Musioka. Mm -hmm. They are very committed. They are committed to this cause because this is what Kenyans want. If you listen to the campaigns that have been going on, particularly from uh, the other side where my good friend uh, Senator Mora belongs, you realize that uh, their campaigns are no longer ideological. Their campaigns today are those that are attacking their uh -huh. opponents. And today, their opponent is the president. We want to tell them, the president of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable Uru Mugai Kenyatta, is not going to be on the ballot. They should be ready to speak ideologically and sell their agenda to the people of Kenya in comparison to the agenda that Azimio One Kenya is preparing and has been preparing to give them. That idea is idea of sustainable development, it's idea of ending theft of public money, it's idea of inclusivity, it's idea of strengthening devolution and using the word as a primary unit of accelerated development. We say in Kano that for us, we are back to business. That energy that is bringing us back to business is what we are injecting into Azimio One Kenya. And mm. we want to promise the public that we shall not go after the neck of our opponent through that bad language that we have seen in the yellow fever. But we shall go to the people of Kenya with an agenda that is cogent <laughs> that we shall prepare and give to the people of Kenya. And lastly, mm -hmm. you are going to see in the next few days some, and uh, Honorable Bumbuy will tell you, we are going to ensure that while campaigning, we will be all over. A team will be in a different part and another team a different part so that we cover this country in the shortest time possible and send the same message. Okay. That message is the message the president is saying, development and unity. It right. has been witnessed when Raila Odinga and President Kenyatta shook hands. It has been witnessed when President Kenyatta involved the Oka principles in uh, trying to secure the lives of Kenyans. How about now that now Oka and Azimio are one Kenya? and working with Jubilee to ensure that the next election is not just an election, is a peaceful election, but an election that is how out outcome will be guaranteed to secure the lives of Kenyans. Okay, that all right. That is what we believe all in. All right, there, there are two hanging issues that I want to Honorable Mbui and uh, Senator Mora to close, and please just be specific to this. First with you, uh, Senator Mora, um, about receiving intelligence and opinion polls, this is something that has been perpetuated for so many years in this country that actually the president can tell who is more popular or not. Is this something that the deputy president could be accessing at the moment? I think... Uh, of course, he is entitled to that, but we are not very sure he does because of the fact that he's been urged out of government by the very people who are speaking here as if they, they are the ones who made this government to form. In fact, 
the currency of one Kenya alliance is because the public guarantor under Azimir is the president himself. So the president is on the ballot. It's an is a, is a, is a, is a Odinga uh, Uhuru ticket. That we must say without a doubt. Uh, and, 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 and it is a, an, an element of self-preservation. It, it has nothing to do with Kenyans. It has everything to do with, if you look at the last 50 years, you had... Senator, it's very interesting. Oh, asked you a question about the... No, let, let me respond. Let me respond. <laughs> Intelligent. Let me, let me respond, kind of. <laughs> uh, let me respond, uh, Sam. Uh, for all fa in all fairness, we had Kenyatta, uh, one, uh, Jaramogi. Then we had, you know, all the, it's after 50 years because of an existential crisis. You come up with Azimio. You say you are the president who is outgoing. You say, Ukondani, Dani, Dani, Kabisa. I think the truth of the matter is, uh, because now uh, President Huru was finishing his 10-year term, and Raila now had to fight for the last time, mm -hmm. and he needed the assurance of the state for him to see whether he will win. Now, we are going to defeat you people. The opinion polls are showing, those ones that you're talking about, NIS, we are actually 59, you are 32, you are stuck there. So we know, we have the information. And further to it, uh, 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 Sam, just as I finish, mm -hmm. we must not forget that this is not about the leadership, just sharing positions. It's about so who, so people. You, you, it's about you're saying that Kenya Kwanzi is ahead with 59%, Azimio with 32%. Yes, yes, according, yes. Where did he get his now, calls from? Uh, just well, hold on. No, I think this who, is not, who does, who yeah, does this opinion? Th this is not a well, shouting. Just, just, Senator, just, Senator, just, just a minute. Look, they're not even in studio. Just listen to my question. Who does these opinion polls? The, 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 the NIS, the same NIS. So, uh, so Jared was very right, actually, in saying that we get the intelligence report. I want to corroborate to, uh, his test statements here that we are at 59, they are at 32. <laughs> that is why they are very worried, because they can see they are losing on all fronts. And, uh, <laughs> like, but let me also finish by saying this, because this is not just about sharing, uh, you know, uh, sharing uh, positions and who gets what and how, where and how. In fact, Kalonzo will not be Nazimio Waino for the President Huru, because he trusts Buhuru more than, than Raila. Let me say this. Um, <laughs> it's about the people. I, am going, I, I have been in Mashinani. Yesterday I had 11 activities on the ground in Ruiru. People are, don't have food. Wanauliza unga. Uh, there are people who are sick. I was in a Harambe of Modoni there, trying to say, get money here, here. Uh, there's Judy Wamboi Kibani, who, Washiko of Gidurai, who cannot be buried because of a bill of 3.3 million. Those are the real issues that we've been discussing about Mwanainchi. S Senator Moro, I so hear you. So that we are able I, now I hear to you. say and I'm just the campaign curious. of this 2022, <laughs> I'm just curious. Sam, I thought politicians about economic, are not allowed to about engage in Harambe. I thought politicians are not allowed to engage in Harambe six months to election. No, no, no. Let me tell you. Yep. There is no Harambe in terms of like you are going, you are contributing. But surely you cannot see somebody who is dying there and you say that you will not help. That lady has arthritis. You have to assist where you can. It may not be a fundraiser. There are individual donations. Those ones are allowed. Harambe's are not. I agree with you. But individual donations, you, must, you can go and tell somebody. Okay. Idea, Pale. But please, let's focus on the real issues of the common Mwanainchi. Not who gets what position, in what coalition. That does not add food on the table for Kenyans. They are suffering. Indeed, it doesn't. Yeah. Um, Honorable Mbui, your closing remark as I take the feedback here, and especially on uh, where WIPA is in these campaigns, because we haven't seen you so much um, backing the candidate of Raila Odinga. The few that we have seen are saying Kalonzo Mosioka has to be the running mate. Um, first, uh, Fred has said it, that uh, we'll, we'll divide ourselves into groups. So WIPA is going to campaign in another region while Kandu goes to another region, while ODM goes to another region, because the country is big and we want to deliver the seat for Raila. Uh, but uh, listening to my colleague here, please allow me to say that uh, I've had those opinion polls that he just mentioned. You know, talk is very cheap. Anyone can say that. I can say Raila is at 98% and uh, Ruto is at 1% and uh, the others are at 1%. And, and then we keep saying those things all the time. I think we need to, we need to come up with, uh, with, with a kind of a law. I've seen the kind of opinion polls Mara, it's a radio station. Another time it is uh, some poll that we don't know where it's coming from. And they're giving contradicting information. Sometimes this person is on top, the other one is on top. So I think the issue of polls is something we need to be very careful about. But having said that, I want to say that uh, my friend here says that uh, there is an Odinga Uhuru ticket. And, and, and I'm surprised where he left my party leader from the whole of this thing. <laughs> how, how is it a, a Uhuru and Odinga ticket when you know very well that Uhuru is not vying? And then, and then, and then you know, uh, with all due respect, uh, my friend uh, Isaac, when you say there is a problem of trust between my party leader and Raila Molo Odinga, I, I want to say that that was also in the past, that there was a problem in the past and they've moved on. Just like in 2013 you were elected under ODM, uh, or rather nominated by ODM, mm. I would say there's a trust problem because you also left ODM unceremoniously. <laughs> when did you believe, no, no. when did you believe through Uru Kenyatta? Ceremoniously, not unceremoniously, ceremoniously. 
because when, when it was rather said one year. Went to Jubilee, uh, like and, and now a few years later, you've now again betrayed the president, Uru Kenyatta, who gave you the appointment. So, but, but I would say that uh, that's also in the past. The way we've forgiven you for moving on is the same way we forgive Raila for moving on. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Let's I take think, a I look at uh, <laughs> in politics they are not common friends or enemies, oh, yeah. but certainly <laughs> Kaloso trusts Uhuru more than Raila. Thank you. Wow, <laughs> Sen Senator, you, you've said that enough times. Jared, I'm sorry that I'll not give you another opportunity because you are practically out of time. I want to take a look at the feedback of Kenyans, what they've been saying on Twitter, Citizen TV Kenya, uh Sam Gituku. The hashtag to use is the break on uh, this. So on the first day of March, Charlo Wadrosi is saying, Kalonzo Musioka did not join Azimio La Umoja willingly, as he claimed, but joined the coalition after being convinced. Well, what does that mean? I am certain that he came with demand, which was put into agreement and signed by Raila Odinga and him and himself. Let him come out cl very clear and tell Kenyans the truth. All right. Uh, Evans Aruiga, Uhuru should retire and hand over the power rather than what is going on? Kibaki and Moi never did what he's doing now. This is what factor, this is what factor that Kal Kalonzo is confused, whether it's Azimio, Laumojo, Azimio, Oka. Something goes wrong with the grammar there. Atanas Mavuti, in my opinion, Honorable Peter Kenneth is headed for the DP position in Azimio. What happens to, happens to Kalonzo is another moment of frustration. If he doesn't get it, and most of his followers will move on to another side, Amaganga Mustaf, you say Kalonzo should be opportunistic. 2027 is automatic if he backs Odinga. After 9th of August, all the job seekers maneuvering around will look for survival and protection in government, including a presidential front runner, and that is a plus to Kalonzo. Um, Agumba Steve, political formations are no longer based on previous agreements, and as such, Ruto should stop seeking sympathy as if he doesn't know this. We no longer sympathize. A key factor in changing our political direction is the choice of running mates uh, for both uh, coalitions. And uh, that's a good point to end it up. Thank you, Senator Isaac Mora, Honorable Robert Mbui, Honorable Jared Okello from Kisumu, and one Fred Okango, who's joining us by way of um, Zoom uh, from Berlin. Thank you all for making time for us. See you some other time. My name is Sam Gituku.